The North Dakota Department of Transportation materials and research employees work in several different areas, which include bituminous, geotechnical, gravel prospecting, testing laboratory, pavement design, and research. The geotechnical field crew collects soil samples for analysis and use in recommendations for highway and bridge projects. Linear soils and deep foundation investigations are performed for all major construction on NDDOT highways. The Materials and Research Division works on the assurance of the quality and economy of highway and bridge construction through the control of materials. During one of their investigations, a field crew recently performed a soil boring operation at an interchange project in Dickinson. Jeff Jureva from the Materials and Research Geotechnical Section and a three-man drill crew were on site to perform the project. During this operation, they installed a multi-level piezometer, which is an instrument placed in a okay. deep borehole that monitors water levels and water pressures in the soil. This is an important step in the construction process because if the water pressure in the soil gets too high, it could fail the soils and that could be problematic. As we build these embankments, we don't want to build them too fast because if you load them up too fast and don't allow that water to dissipate out of the soil, what happens is you get too much of that. The, the stress is carried by that water and it risks failure of the embankment. Information gathered from an installed multi-level piezometer can also affect the completion time of a project. Another benefit also is just to understand what's going on with the embankment itself. Sometimes you can accelerate construction based on this as well versus holding the contractor back. Um, another is getting a better understanding of the soil profile because when we do this, when we take soil borings, we have to do a lot of uh, interpolation between borings. So the more soils data we get, the better off we always are. According to Jereva, projects such as these come with a variety of challenges. Anytime you build on ground that's never seen a load before, you're dealing with all kinds of challenges basically, and unknowns, because you really don't know. So we go out and take exploratory borings to figure out what we think is gonna happen. Now sometimes when what happens in the field obviously isn't what we were hoping would happen. As soon as they figure out the type of soil they will be working with, the next step is to make adjustments to fit the soil type. When you get cohesive or clay soils like this, they're a lot easier to work with. We can drill in them, the hole stays open nicely. If you get into sandy soils or real loose soils like that, you fight with them a lot just because they'll always try and heave or cave into the hole. And that, that's by far probably our biggest challenge. Soil boring is only part of the process that is undertaken when the NDDOT designs roads and bridges. The research and gathering of data done by the Materials and Research Division help make NDDOT's mission to safely move people and goods a reality.